My dear Hot Hot friends, how are you doing today? I hope you are all having a great day. I missed you so much and now I'm so happy that I'm here with another story. Today our story is about George. George is six years old and he's a little bit naughty, but he's a good kid. At his birthday, he got a hatchet. What do you think that will happen next? Well. Let's begin our story and we will see how it goes. Once upon a time in a beautiful town, there was a little boy. In his sixth birthday, he got a hatchet. He was so happy about it. The hatchet was so tiny and so shiny and beautiful. He was so happy and he thanked his father for such a wonderful gift. But his father warned him and told him, remember George, hatchets are very dangerous. You have to be very careful with them. So George listened and said, okay dad, I will be careful. But he was a naughty kid. Do you think that he did listen to his father's advice? Let's see. The next day, he went into the woods. He wanted to try his hatchet. So he went and he saw some corns. So he tried to cut them down. He would swing his hatchet and all of the corns fell down. He was so excited to see that. He saw that the hatchet is so sharp. Then he tried other plants and all of them were cut down too. He knew that his hatchet is a good one. So that night he went out to his house merrily and he told his mother all about his day. His mother said, George, remember his hatchet is very sharp. So use it carefully. George said, okay, mom, I'm careful. I'm a good woodcutter. His mother smiled and said, Okay, woodcutter, well, tomorrow I need some woods. So can you just cut some woods to put in the fireplace? George was so excited and happy. And he said, Pretty please, can I do it now? His mother said, No, it's at night. But tomorrow, first thing, you can go out and cut some woods. George accepted and he went up to his bedroom. He couldn't sleep. He was so excited about the next day. Well, what do you think will happen? Just stay with me and you will know the rest of the story. Welcome back. Now, if you remember my friends, George was so excited. Why he was excited, you ask me? Because his mother told him to cut some woods for his fireplace. So the next day, he got up very excited and he was so happy. He came down the stairs happily and he went to his mother, said, I have my hatchet, can I go cut some woods? His mother said, no, just wait and have your breakfast. He said, no, I can't wait, please. His mother said, okay, you can go out now. But remember, you have to be back so soon because you didn't eat your breakfast. So he went out there and he started to cutting woods. His hatchet was so sharp that he could do it so easily. In no time, he had cut a lot of woods and his job was over. He went back to his mom and said, see mom, I did everything that she asked for. His mom smiled and said, yes, you're a strong woodcutter. 
George was very happy. And then his mom said, now you can go and play with your friends. But George didn't want to go to play. He wanted to cut more woods. But his mother said, but we have no more woods. The next time you will do it again. Just wait a little. George said, okay, and took his hatchet and went out of his house. But he didn't really hear his mom. He wanted to cut some more woods. Now, what do you think that he will do? I will tell you. There was, a, there was a cherry tree in their garden. That cherry tree was so beautiful, and George's father loved it very much. It was all in blossoms, and George's father was hoping that it will have fruits this year. He was hoping that his wife could make cherry pie out of the cherries. He cherished that cherry tree very much. But his son didn't know that. So he went to the cherry tree and he looked at his hatchet. What do you think that he will do next? Will he cut the tree down? Wait for a few moments and you will know what will happen in the rest of the story. So stay with me. <coughs> Welcome back! Now, if you remember, the naughty George went to the cherry tree. He was thinking to himself, can I cut this tree down? He looked at his hatchet and suddenly he hit the trunk of the tree so hard. He saw that the trunk has gone weak. He thought to himself, can I bring it down? So he hit and hit again and the tree was down. What do you think? It wasn't a good thing to do, don't you think? Especially when the tree was full of blossoms. When the tree was down, he realized of what has he done. He got so sad. He knew that he had done a bad thing and he remembered how much his father cherished the cherry tree. So he went back to his house and he didn't say anything to his mom and he sat in a corner and put his hatchet behind him. At noon, his father got home. George was so scared. He didn't know how his father would react. Then his father saw the tree. He knew what George has done, but he went home and he asked George angrily, do you know who brought down the cherry tree? George didn't know what to say. He didn't know whether to lie or to tell the truth. He knew that the punishment would be severe. He knew how much his dad loved the tree. But he thought to himself, I cannot lie. I have to tell the truth. He said that, I'm sorry dad, I know, that was me but I just wanted to try my new hatchet. I'm so sorry, you can punish me. But suddenly he saw his dad smiling. He was so surprised. Why do you think his dad was smiling? Well, his dad said, I love that cherry tree so much. But now that you told me the truth, I see that you've learned your lesson. But promise me th something that you will never do such a thing again. Plants are alive. We don't have to cut them down. We have to be careful with them and appreciate them. George said, yes, dad, now I know my lesson. And his dad said, promise me that you will always be honest like this. George said, I will. And his father said, I'm so proud of you, my little son. You told the truth and I really appreciate it. George was so happy that he didn't lie and he told the truth. And his father didn't punish him either, except he appreciated what he had done. You see, my dear friends, it's very important to be, to be truthful all the time. Even if we think that there will be punishment if we tell the truth. It's always the best policy. 
Well, did you like today's story? I hope so. I enjoyed it very much. Now, don't go anywhere. I'll be back with the morals of the story. <laughs> All right, my dear friends. Now, if you remember, today's story was about George, who was a little bit naughty, but he was so honest as well. You have to know that honesty is the best thing in the world, and you should never lie. What would you do if you had done some wrong things? What would you do? Would you lie or would you tell the truth? Well. If you tell the truth, you will have the peace of mind, which is the most important thing. But if you lie, you have to lie more and more to protect yourself. And do you know that lying is a sin? They say that the liar is the enemy of God. It's so bad to lie. And you should know that in Islam, it has been hard, highly recommended to tell the truth all the time even if it's against our will because you have to know all the good things will come to the honest people now did you like today's story i hope so and i know that all of you are always honest and truthful now you can go and visit our site on hothotenglish.com and if you want to contact us you can visit our pages in twitter Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Telegram. You can find us at Hot Hot English TV. Now, I will miss you so much, but I will be here tomorrow. So don't forget, take care of yourself and so long.